my mind on the opposite side and waving my opposite hand. Can't get that to move for some that reason. Okay. Hi, everybody. This is Miss Patty from Sunday School, and look, I've got some helpers today. I have some of my grandkids here. This is Sammy. He's too little to do the, the Father Abraham, but back here, there's Noah. He can do it. He knows how to do Father Abraham. And Molly's here. I'm hoping she's going to do it too, because I can't do it while I hold the baby very well. Are you ready? We're going to start a new story today, and it starts with Father Abraham. So I'm going to say it, and I'm going to roll over to the side so that you can see Noah doing it, and maybe Molly will do it too. No, I'm not doing it. So stand up when he does it, and you do it with him. Here we go. Maybe Sammy will do a little bit of it. <laughs> so it's kind of hard. Turn around, Noah, and show your right hand. So that's going to be your right hand. Put your right hand up now like Noah does, and then he's going to turn around. And it's going to look different when he has his hand there. You're going to feel like he has the opposite hand. See if you can figure out your right hand. Okay, you can stand up and do Father Abraham. You should know it too, so you can say it with me. Oh, should I do it backward? No, you don't have to. It'd be easier. Um, whichever way you can do. Here we go. Ready? Father, Father Abraham, Abraham had many, many sons. sons. Many, many sons had Father Abraham. Abraham. I am one of them. them. And so are you. So, so let's all praise the Lord. Right arm, right arm. <laughs> Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them. And so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm. Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them. And so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, right foot. <laughs> Father Abraham had many sons, many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, right foot. Father Abraham had many sons, many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, turn around. Father Abraham had many sons, many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, turn around, head nod. <laughs> you must sit down. Okay. Are you tired after that? That's a fun one, isn't it? Thanks, Noah, for helping us out. And little Sammy helped a little bit, too. All right. Next thing we're going to do is have our story about Father Abraham. And it's going to be a little hard for me to do with the baby on my lap. So I'm going to have the kids do the flannel board. Okay, so now we're ready with our story. And this is not the story of Noah anymore. Now we have a new um, person from the Bible, a very famous one. We're going to call him Abram at first. Later, his name's going to be Abraham, but right now it's Abram. Did you put him up on the board for us? No, we're doing Abraham. And Abram heard from God, and he told Abram that he needed to leave Ur and his family and he needed to pack up the people and go to where God told him. And that was a pretty hard job. Let me put this, guy, this person on. Show right up here so they can see it really good. I better put it a little closer. So they had so many things to pack. If you've ever been on a camping trip, then you know that you have to pack your clothes and you have to pack your food. And they were going to be gone for a really long, long time. True. And so, Abraham got all the people together. And they had to travel with their... It looks like a horse or a camel. I would have thought it was a camel. Uh, I, think it's, I think it was a camel that they used in the desert there. And... They had to travel a long ways. Put this on up. And all of this was because God told Abraham to go. 
And Abraham was faithful. Abraham obeyed. Can you take, can you take Sammy? Not that easy when you're steering over the board. Okay, Molly's going to help me by taking Sammy off my lap. Because this is an important story about Abraham. And, well, they can just stay there now. They can see that they're traveling. And it was hard because they had to travel for a lot of days. And every day they had to stop and repack all of their things again. If you've ever gone camping and you have to pack all your stuff up and then go to a new place and then hike a little bit and then unpack your stuff and lay out your tent and then sleep in the tent and then the next day you have to get up and pack it all up again. It's a real lot of work. Hike some more. It was a lot of work for them. But they did it because God told Abraham to do that. And, yeah, Abram. And then finally... They got to the new land, and it was a lot of weeks and weeks that they had to do that. And when they got to the new land, Abram and his helpers unrolled, and they put up their tents, and they unpacked all of their bundles. And then Abram built a special place to honor God, to worship him. And this was going to be the new land where they would live. Well, that's going to be in our next chapter, so we're going to find out some more about that new land. We're going to hear more about this story later. The important thing about this lesson is that Abram obeyed God, even though it wasn't easy. And, you know, sometimes we have things in our life that's not easy to obey. Now, Abraham was lucky in some ways because God talked to him and he knew what he was supposed to do. Sometimes we don't know exactly what we're supposed to do because we don't always hear God in the way that Abraham did. So we have to look to other things. And you know one thing we look at, don't you? We look to our Bible. And our Bible says to honor our father and mother. That's one of the ways that we obey God is by doing what the Bible tells us to do. And we have another way too. We're so lucky because we live in the time after Jesus came. And Jesus showed us how to live. Abraham didn't, Abraham didn't live after Jesus. He lived before Jesus. But he had to listen right to God. And he made a special place to honor and worship God. But the important thing was that he listened. And he did what God wanted him to do. And we can do that now too. So Noah's going to show you how to do your page today. This is what the stickers look like. And the... Page tells you to start here, it's where they used to live, and they had to go and go and go, and all kinds of things happened until they got there. And I was going to show you which stickers go where. So here's a square sticker at the beginning. What do you have on your sticker page that looks like the beginning? That's square. Uh, this. I'd say that looks right. Just about. Show it to the kids up close. I think this is what goes at the beginning. Yeah, I'd say so. They're gathering all their people with the camels. Sticker there. Okay, so they're starting out now. They go on this maze. They can go this way, but is that going to get them to the end? No. They have to go around this way. I wonder what's happening right here. Let's have has a arch to it and a flat bottom. He needs that passage. Right. Is this what grows there? I think so. I would put it. So they had to take care of their animals, didn't they? That was part of their big job. And they go along a little further on the path, and there's one that looks like an arrow, kind of. An oasis. And, and there's one here. You usually find a well and an oasis. Well, sometimes. Very rarely in the desert. Don't go wandering in the desert.
Okay. Okay. Now there's one that looks a little bit like an arrow shape. I think that's where they made camp. Maybe. Do you see something that looks like a tent or something that would be a camp there by the trees? Yep. And then they come along this path, so camp here, and they find a bunch of trees. Okay, the trees are keep them cool. Palm trees. And then they travel from here. All the way down, up here, into the mountains, blocked by a rocky cave, not going that way, go down, up, and, and, I think we put, when they got to the end, what did they do? So they praised God. They did, they worshipped God, they praised him, he made a special place to honor him. So they went all the way from this little, tiny, insignificant speck of a city down all the way. Oh, mm, I, I, and jumped in a river. And so they got over here to a place that was where God told them to be, and that was going to be their land. Let's look at the other side. This says, Obey the Lord. And these are ideas about how you could obey the Lord. Which pieces go together? Let's see. So here's a big pen here. Which piece is going to go together? And how is it obeying the Lord? How does this piece right here go with that piece? And what are they doing that's helping or obeying? Mm. Looks to me that he's drying the dishes. Mm -hmm. That's helping out, isn't it? Yeah. Does God want you to help out in your family? Of course he does. Yeah, of course he does. Now, this one's tricky. What does this one go to? See where it goes. What's happening in that? Looks to me that they are weeding and planting a garden. Mm -hmm. I'd say so. So helping with the family, raising food. Planting mm -hmm. for our earth, that would be a good thing, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. What are these kids doing to obey God? Folding laundry. Mm-hmm. Helping out. I do. Draw lines to match the cut-up pictures. And these are ways that kids can help. So here's the family page, tells the story. Probably tells the story a little better than I did because with the baby it was a little distracting around here. Abraham lived in a city. He lived in a house. One day God told Abraham, I want you to move to a new land. I will show you how to get there. There were no cars or airplanes or trains. Abraham would have to walk. I think I have to close that door because it's a little noisy out in the playroom. Just a second. Okay, so there weren't any airplanes or cars or trains. He was going to have to walk. Abraham chose to obey God, even though it was hard. He told his wife, Sarah, and his nephew, Lot, we are going to leave this city. We are going to a new land. Abraham and his family would need strong sandals for walking. The family had sheep, goats, and cows. They had camels and donkeys. They packed food and clothes and extra sandals. They packed up tents and blankets for sleeping. Then they started walking. What kinds of noises do you think their walking sandals made? Maybe kind of a slap, step, slap, step. Walk, walk, walk. They walked every day. 
Every night they got out their tents and blankets. They took off their sandals and rubbed their tired feet. They knew land was far, far away. The new land was far, far away from the city. But they knew God was taking care of them. So they kept walking. One day God told Abraham, This place will be your new home. Abraham and his family put up their tents. They thanked God for keeping them safe all the way to this new land. God was glad that Abraham had obeyed. Abraham was glad too. Now he and his family were done walking. They could rest their feet. That's the end of our story today, but there's more. There's going to be a lot more about Abraham. So let's have a little prayer and then we'll have our puppet show. Dear God, we pray in Jesus' name. We thank you for all the people who came before us and before Jesus. And we're so thankful that their stories are written down in the Bible so we can know them. And we're thankful for our families. I'm thankful for my grandchildren. And I'm thankful for my church family. I'm thankful for all the Sunday school kids and families that enjoy and look at these lessons. I'm thankful for the pastors. And I'm very thankful that God gives us the Bible to tell us how to obey him so that we know the right thing to do. We can read our Bible and know what God wants us to do. And then we can obey. Thank you, God, for being so magnificent and for wanting us to do the right thing. Amen. Okay. So next we have our puppet show and I think Molly is going to bring Skeeter in here. You know, we have called Thomas. I'm not sure if we're going to have a Thomas or a Skeeter for our puppet show today, but it'll be ready in a minute. Okay, there you go. What's the matter, Skitter? I'm really, really, really upset. Oh no, why are you upset? I'm upset because I can't go to the big park down the street anymore. Oh, that's sad. Why can't you go to the park there? The ranger posted a new park rule. The ranger made a park rule that there's no squirrels in the park? What? Did the ranger make a rule about no climbing the trees? No, no, no. What's the new rule then? It can't be that bad. Let's see if we can get him close to the camera. Park ranger. The park ranger posted a sign that says, Don't feed the animals. Now I can't get all my favorite snacks there. No more leftover sandwiches. No half eaten apples. No more candy. No more, no more, no more. Hmm, I wonder if the rule was made to help you. Help me? That doesn't make any sense. There was all that yummy, yummy, yummy food, and now I can't have it. Hmm, what are some good healthy foods that your mom tells you to eat? Nuts that grow on the trees, berries, in the bushes. Right. That food that the people were giving you was not the best kind for you to eat. I know my mom loves me, and the ranger is my friend, so I guess the rule might be not that bad. You're right. Your mom and the ranger make rules because they love you. The kids are learning about obeying God's rules. We want to obey God because we know he loves us. And Skitter, we love you too. Well, well, well. But all of that talk about food has made me hungry, so I'm off to find some really fresh and juicy berries at the park. Bye, friends! <laughs> Bye, Skinner! I think he's always hungry. Bye, everybody! Remember to obey God! And remember, Jesus loves you. Thanks for the help, Molly. It was a lot better having a helper with that puppet show today. <laughs> Bye, everybody!